Okay, uh, this is going to be a lesson on how to make your own capo. So, if you don't have one of these, uh, there is a way of making your own one until you do uh, manage to get one of these. Um, all you need is uh, a pencil, uh, preferably a small one, or you can use a pen, but it's just a bit trickier when it's longer along the fret, so the shorter the better. I'm using uh, an IKEA one here. Um, so all you need to do is, for example, if we wanted a capo on the third fret, we just place this down onto the third fret, and then you'll need, let's say, three elastic bands, average elastic bands. I guess the stronger and tighter, the better. And then what you do is you just twist it round once. So you've twisted it round once, if I can do that. Okay, so I've twisted it round once. And then what we do is we start on one end of the pencil, holding down this end, and then we go round the back of the guitar and we just put it on there. So at the moment we still need to make this tighter, otherwise it won't it won't sound very good. So grab another another elastic band, just twist it around, so you double it up so it's stronger, put that around the back, and flip it around the front, and and let's do one more time for good measure, get another elastic band, double it up, place it on the back, and this one is a bit tighter, and then just place that round the back of the, the, uh, the guitar. So, um, and all I tend to do here at this point is I just turn the guitar over, and you can see they're all separated here. I tend them to bring them together, so just roll them towards each other, and that, especially around the tips, the tops here, that just puts even more pressure on the pen and the strings. So make sure that they're nice and tight and all bunched up together on either side. Okay, and then you should have a capo. And there's your homemade capo. Uh, good luck, any questions, uh, just leave your comments below. Thanks a lot.